Welcome everyone to the recap of the fifth round of the Chess Olympiad 2022. It was an exciting day of chess. And let's first begin with the India A team in the open section. Now, India took on Romania. And the score was two and a half, one and a half in the favor of the host country. How did it happen? Hari Krishna drew, Vidit drew, and SL Narayanan drew. It all boiled down to the game of Arjun Erigesi. Let's have a look at this position. Arjun played tremendously risky chess. And actually, after the opening, he was worse. And then came this moment in the game. If you look here, Arjun has the bishops and his opponent, Parligras, has the knights. But the knights are very well positioned and have contained the white pawns. If here black continued normally, he would be better. But Parligras went for the wrong plan to trade the rooks. And once Arjun managed to trade the rooks, the knights were no longer so dangerous. And slowly, Arjun rerouted his bishop to g3 and then brought his king to the center and won a very, very nice game. In this way, Arjun's victory ensured that Team India A scored two and a half, one and a half and won. And that brings them to nine out of 10, which is a good score in this event. Now let's go to the women's A section and see what happened there. In the women's A section, India took on France and the score was two and a half, one and a half in the favor of the Indian team. Humpy made a solid draw. Harika was slightly better, but that also ended in a draw. Vaishali's game was crazy. And at some point it felt like she would win the game, but that also ended in a draw. The game that made all the difference was Sanya Sachdev once again proving to be the most valuable player for the India A team. Now let's get to this position. Tanya is playing with the white pieces and over here she decided to put her bishop on g4 to attack the rook. Now here black should have played the move f5 but one can clearly understand the trepidation you would have to weaken the king's position and that's why black played rook b8 but this turned out to be a mistake as after knight c6 forking the two rooks takes takes bishop d6 g3 h5 tanya put her bishop to d7 and this was such a powerful formation the d5 pawn is weak and she cleaned up the pawns and went on to win the game with this the india a team also scored a victory and they are now on a perfect score of 10 out of 10 leading the tournament let's now look at the most exciting match of the day it was between the youngsters india b team they played over here against spain and this was really really an amazing encounter because Spanish team is very strong. They beat India 3 yesterday. On top board, you have Alexis Shirov. Then Vallejo Pons took rest today. But Anton David Guyaro. Then you have Jaime Santos Latasa. And then Ituri Zaga Bonelli. So it's a very strong team that took on the youngsters Gukesh Nihal Pragnananda. And today Raunak took a rest. And we had Adiban. Who moved in. I think the floodgates were opened by Gukesh. In this game where he faced Alexi Shirov. In this position you can see that it's a very complicated one. Gukesh playing with the black pieces has a nice position. He's planning to attack a bit with b4. Meanwhile white has lined up his rooks here. I think Shirov lost his patience at this point and he made a mistake with d4. But look at how Gukesh plays now. First, he captures the pawn. Shiro moves in with his queen on b5. But then Gukesh plays knight to e5, offering a trade of queens. Check. Queen blocks. Takes. King takes. And now, after take, take, 
the position has equal number of pawns but the quality of black pawns is so much better after rook d1 knight c6 f4 e5 f5 gukesh now found this very nice move knight to a5 latching on to the b3 square and then slowly and steadily with his central pawns at the right moment he started to create a passer passer zier and went on to win this was an epic victory for gukesh who beat the world class player shirov although shirov is no longer as strong as he used to be he's 50 years old now it's still a very commendable victory with this win something uh, amazing has happened Gukesh has now reached a rating of 2714 and he's now India number 3 he has surpassed Vidit Gujarati on the live rating list Vidit has some catching up to do now but Gukesh's win and also one more excellent result came with Adipan winning on the last board and Adipan truly showed that all of his experience in this game because he played it very quiet and at the right time he broke through uh pragnananda lost his game but that didn't affect so much because nihal had already drawn and team india b had won now let's go to the games game of india women's b team over there they took on georgia India too they took on Georgia and it was a very tough encounter because Vantika and Padmini held fort on boards 1 and 2 but on boards 3 and 4 Soumya and Divya lost to Jawakashvili and Mary Arabidze this was quite a tough match for the Indian team and well the Indian women's second team have to make a strong comeback but definitely you have to talk about Vantika she is on 4 and 1/2 out of 5 playing some of the best players in the world she drew today against nana zagnitze which is fantastic let's now go to the b to the c team of india in the open section and they scored a very impressive comeback victory over chile Let's look at the game of Sethu Raman because Sethu Raman managed to play a very nice game here. He attacked very powerfully against his opponent. He pushed his pawn to g5. He then later on pushed his pawn to f6 and then also sacrificed his bishop eventually winning material and also having a very powerful attack. I think Sethu Raman's victory was very important and also the victory of Abhimanyu Puranik on the fourth board this helped India three team to beat Chile although Murli Kartikeyan lost his game Ganguly has been super solid on board 1 finally let's go to the last game over there in the women section C group It's very interesting to note that the Indian team has been in the first hall until now all the games and also most of the teams play in this first half of the first hall that just goes to show how strong are all six teams are and even the C team in the women's section were almost going to win today look at this they were playing against Brazil and india c team played against brazil today we had isha karawade drawing her game nandita scoring another win yesterday she beat nino batsyashvili today she beat libreleto kati gular pratyusha lost her game actually at some point she was winning she was at least drawing and vishwa drew her game so the match ended in a 2-2 draw but let's have a look at a very nice tactic This is the final position of today. Black Nandita has just played her rook here and attacked the queen. Now if you move the queen here, 
the game should be around equal but white played knight to d3 and can you spot why this is a blunder well remember lpdo loose pieces drop off this bishop unprotected this bishop unprotected in comes the queen to d4 hitting both the bishops and black won the game quite easily in this way nandida won and that helped her team equalize the match so today india had four wins india a team won in both sections india b team won in the men's section india c team won in the men's section open section we had one loss and one draw for now team india still going very strong in both open and women section but the sixth round is going to be the very very crucial one because india b and armenia are leading in the open section and they will face off against each other well all of that and much more later tomorrow for now this is sagar shah signing off bye bye